Hi guys and welcome to the final chapter of our tadpole story where they finally turn into froglets. So sit down, get yourself a nice cold drink, click the subscribe button if you like and let's begin. So last time you saw them, they had their back legs, their body started to look more frog-like. Well, over the next, I, I can't actually remember if it was a few days, a few weeks. It was a while ago this actually happened. Um, I actually think they completely turned into frogs at the end of April. So we are really behind with this update. So basically they were taking their time to get out their front legs, they had developed the body a lot more to look more frog-like and then I started to notice these little nubbins. Now, these weren't proper legs but you can see they sort of move. I put the little tadpole on the moss where it is constantly like it's got water flowing on it constantly so the frog obviously didn't dry out just to quickly film it and um, it could actually jump off. It could use its back legs, they were fully functioning, but they it still had this little like nubbin, it looks so cute. Anyway, literally overnight, this turned into fully functioning front legs. I'm not even joking. If you're gonna document tadpoles, these moments where the legs come through, make sure you like are on it because they will just happen overnight and it's insane how quick it happens. Another thing that obviously changes around this time is the tail starts to get absorbed. Um, they will still use it, they look funny when they have all their legs and their big old tail, but they'll start to absorb it, it will look more sort of like small and withered and a little bit black, and, and then eventually it goes and you're left with a little froglet, oh, look how cute it is, oh my god. So yes, the little froglet, although it did spend time in the water, I found that when it was now a little frog it would sit more on the bricks and near the moss and i could tell it kind of wanted to come out it was really good at camouflaging itself because i'll be trying to look for it and it'll be up against the rock and you just couldn't see it um, and because it wanted to come out i did actually make it a little land home but we'll get to that in a minute and if you remember in my previous video i said there was one tadpole that was slightly behind in the growth rate but it was bigger well, that was the same for the frogs. So this first one that grew up um, on the smaller side, but it was the first one. And then the second one took a bit of extra time and it was a lot chunkier. And as you can see, it's now a frog. So when moving them, I decided to make a little land house made out of like moss and grass and stuff from outside. That actually came with loads of little inverts in it. So if they did want to eat, they could eat that. Um, they also had a little pool of water and some hides and this is only a temporary home because I didn't want to keep them The wildlife like in this country is going down like honestly I went for a nature walk the other day and I saw a pigeon a Pigeon you can see them anywhere. Anyway um, it's very difficult to see a lot of our wildlife depending where you live and frogs definitely are suffering a lot so I obviously didn't want to keep them I wanted to release them and so this was sort of to introduce them to things they would interact with in the wild. And this is how they look now. Okay, I'm, I may be lying a little bit. They don't look like that now, but they, they in, in the future they will, maybe. They, this frog I actually found in my pond. I was doing a time lapse of the pond because I knew there was something in there. And I think there's actually two frogs. I saw a newt in there the other day as well, which I am obsessed with newts. I used to like collect them all the time when I was younger. But yeah these are sort of adult frogs and if you are in the uk at the moment we're having a heat wave it's 28 degrees at the moment which is boiling for me and the frogs need places to stay so if you're able to have a pond or put some water out or anything that will help um, them in this hot weather then that would be awesome i'm actually going to link a page that i found it's a rspb page about making their little homes i think they call it a frog and toad abode so if you want to do a little diy especially for like frogs and toads that will be hibernating then go check that out they haven't told me to say this or anything i just saw it and i thought it's pretty interesting but yes i hope you have enjoyed this sort of mini series as i said our wildlife aren't doing that great so don't just take a frog from outside and keep it as a pet or anything like that um, try to provide as much habitat as you can make sure they're protected and um, hopefully hopefully we'll see more frogs in the future so anyway thank you for watching guys and goodbye <laughs> 